And here is the third tutorial as just explanation of cascade modules. I'm gonna get a new particle system. Par module O3. And then I think the next one is lifetime. There we go. And lifetime is really easy to explain, so this shouldn't be a long explanation. It only has lifetime. So yeah, that's luck. So this starts with a float uniform normally, but let's change that to constant. The constant means that it's a constant value. So if I add like one here, it will be only alive for one second. If I add zero here, they will never die. This will go on and on and on. So let's not do that because that will be really not optimal. As you can see, the counter here keeps running and running. In some cases that's nice, but then you don't want to spawn it that many times. So let's change it back to 1. Now they will live for only 1 second. And obviously if you use 10, they will live for 10 seconds. Then there are a few other options here. And float uniform is mostly used for more randomness. So it can be between 1 second, 0 and 1 second. And some will actually live forever. And others will die within 1 second. But I don't want any to live endlessly, though I haven't seen one yet. Chances are really low, I guess. Okay, so now they live between 1 and 2 seconds. So some die out earlier, some die out later. And that can give some quite nice randomness, especially with fires. And a lot of other effects, but fire is a good example, of course. And then there is a constant curve, and I actually wonder if this works, because how can the lifetime change over life? So I'm actually wondering what this will do. The in value of 0, the lifetime will be 1, and at the end of the emitter, they will be 2. So this would mean that the first few that get bursted only last 1 second, and at the end, it will last two seconds. It's really hard to test it, actually. It does seem to work. Let's try 10. Yeah. There are a few that die out earlier, and eventually they all live longer. And that might be nice for starting fire. I don't know. Alright, let's just go back to uniform. Give it between one and two seconds. Now, let's say you actually do want to have a particle with an infinite lifetime. Then the best way to do that, in my humble opinion, is first go to the spawn module, then go to float constant, and make sure this is zero, and add a burst. There you go, and now it bursts only one particle. And it will still last for between one and two seconds. But let's change that. Let's change to the constant of zero. Now, every time it bursts, to spawn one particle. Now let's kill the velocity for now. There you go. But it's still spawning a particle. Let me actually change the color of this. If you double click on the purple here, then actually change the color of that. There we go. It keeps spawning a particle. So even though you only want have one here, at the moment it's 20 and then 21. So let's change that as well. Let's go to the required node. And in the duration, that actually is fine. In the emitter loops, make it one. Now it only spawns once and then it's finished. So this is the only particle that spawned and it will be there forever until you kill the blueprints or code. But in normal situations, it will be there forever. And this is useful for uh, mesh based projectiles and that kind of thing because now you don't need to constantly spawn 20 meshes or other things you now have a nice one so this will be nice for um, some kind of particle effect that you have for crystals or whatever with this tiny little spark going on or a lens flare or in this case you can also just make a small cute windmill so there you go that kind of explains most of lifetime there are a few other things you can do with it, and that's mostly uh, material-based. 
and that I will explain in a separate uh, tutorial as well, where I'll go over a few of the materials that um, material notes that are directly involved with cascade and particles. But that's for later. That's it. Take care.